Was he your agent as a player? Yes, it did. Okay, just tell me a little bit about why you wanted to be represented by Pierre. Oh God, a lot of reason. Um, you know, you look back all those years, uh, you know, he mentored us and everything. Uh, it was really a father and a brother, if you want to put it that way. And he did, uh, you know, hug you when you needed. Uh, I told you when you're wrong. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, he just had that presence that uh, was so powerful. He was, uh, we know this, his family values. And, you know, we look back at everything now, you know, from, geez, I was 19 years old. Um, you look at his own family with his kids and now grandkids and Coco and everybody. It's, it's just, uh, you're just not surprised how they, uh, how they became um, so popular with, among other families. Um, Pierre had the, the act to, to keep us together. And again, I know he's not with us today, but uh, uh, somewhat he is. That's wonderful. How is he an advocate for you? Oh, he, uh, you know, he, he's, he's truthful. That's, that's the key uh, about him. He was, you know, we tell you the truth. You were wrong. He was going to tell you, you know. But uh, he knew he knew the balance, and that's why he was so successful as he moved on to be a general manager and a president of the Avalanche. Uh, you know, went on two cups and I don't know, I think nine division championships. And um, you know, you, the amazing thing and the most important thing, and, and I see guys here gathered here this weekend for him and Goko is uh, pretty special. And I know you have a lot of reasons to be here yourself. You're an ambassador for the Blackhawks and in the hall yourself. But why was it important for you to be here this weekend, sort of from that perspective of Pierre and his family? Well, uh, it's getting tough for um, <clears throat> Well, he meant everything for us. He, uh, he went out of his way many, many times to help all of us. And what's amazing is all the people that are here for him. I'm not shocked. Uh, he deserves it. That's really amazing. I know, too, looking back on your days as a player, the, the 96 Avs, Pierre's second year on the job, gets some key players and you're on a Chicago team that seats them in the second round. From your lens, walk me through what it was like to be opposite that Avs team that year. That was hard, you know, we were, <laughs> we're going to face a, a great team and a great leader. Um, yeah, that, and you know, obviously getting, he came and got Patrick. Uh, Maybe maybe a year or two before I forget now, but um, you know he, that was magical for the Avalanche. Uh, they got one of the greatest goalies that's ever played the game, and again he had the edge of knowing Patrick. <laughs> he represented him all his life, and so um, you know then at the end of his career he came and got Ray Bork uh, with the 2001 Cup. Um, so yeah, no he. Uh, you know, he just just put a great group of guys, and I think to focus on on his ability to to build a team. You know, of course he had great players, but it's a team. Mm -hmm. You know, he had that that act to get everybody playing as as one, and uh, hired great coaches at the time, and so he yeah he was he was a winner. We, everything he did, and everything he touched, he worked hard at it. Took some gamble. You know, uh, nobody. Could ever um, say that uh, was easy for him. It wasn't, but he earned everything he got. Who are some of the toughest competitors from the Nordiques, or yeah, from the Nordiques? Oof, great question. Um, I'd have to really think about that one. I mean, I got to go back now, so many <laughs> years ago. Um, but you know, I, I will I will share this with you guys. Um, I think I was in my seventh year, somewhere around there, and there was a kid by the name of Joe Sackick hmm. that uh, ended up playing his first game against us in Chicago. And 
I remember this like yesterday after the game. I go, oh boy, this game is changing. Um, this kid's going to be special. And I knew that, uh, you know, for me personally, I said, I get up my game more because he's going to be one of the good ones here too. And there's many other ones that I saw. I just meant to name just a few of them, but Joe was just a remarkable player right from the get go. It was. Uh, my co our coaches at the time matched me against, you know, we were home, so we had the last change and matched him, me against him the whole game. And I knew that uh, down the line that, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> sure enough, you know, he went on, when, moved, when Pierre moved the team to Colorado, history, you know, even till today, you know, it's a great franchise. And I know youth hockey's gone to a different level over there. Yeah the last 20 years, so credit to Pierre and his people. And I like the future thinking, I'll, I'll move a little bit more to present day too, but what sure. was it like to receive the call for yourself to get inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame? Well, I remember that day. Um, it was in my buddy's office, and I was like, grabbed the phone, and, and I wasn't too sure if it was a prank. Um, <laughs> no. You don't, you know, I know I've had a, you know, great career and all that, but it's to get to the hall. It takes a lot of different things to get there, and um, such an honor. And uh, I know that uh, Pierre would be honored, and I know he is in heaven. Uh, you know, looking down on us and smiling, so it's special. You know, I'm looking at the teams that Pierre built and some of the players that have gone to the Hall of Fame themselves. Do you feel like those things work together? Like the players are on a Hall of Fame track because. Pierre brought the right players in to compete alongside them, to help them have the success that they did. No question. You know, there's other things that he did. Forget about getting us contracts, you know. He always got us together in the summer and brought some financial people to talk to us, uh, doctors to talk to us. Um, I'm not sure if that's done again today or it was done, but I know it wasn't done before. Um, so. You know, he, he just had everything to help us to become successful. And when you're in a room sitting down with Patrick Roy, Mike Bossy, Bob Sauvé, Jacques Cloutier, Ray Bork, Pierre Turgeon, Vincent Danfous, uh, the list goes on, uh, you're pretty, you know, you're with pretty good group of people, good, great hockey players, but great people. And I think Pierre, um, I think he put, uh, the person before the hockey, of course, they went together, and uh, you know, you look at the group that he had. You know, uh, when I see everybody, it's like I saw him yesterday. You know, those summer meetings that we had when he grouped us all together. You know, it was, of course, it was fun. It was also a dedication to about financial money, about you know, doctors, you know, psychology, and you know, it was it was pretty remarkable thinking to do that. And uh, we had all kinds of stuff going on. We had card games going, we had <laughs> betting going, golf, and card games. oh yeah, um, yeah. Geez, I remember these days like yesterday, you know. And I see those guys this weekend that we all know together. It's just, uh, you know, it's fun. It's been a recurrent theme this weekend, sort of the lifelong friendships, almost family that have been forged through hockey. Can you tell me a little bit about how that's impacted you? Well, a lot. Well, here, like I said, you know, I seen everybody yesterday, and you know, I see everybody, everybody today, tomorrow, and some of them I've been seen in 10, 15 years. Some I've seen, you know, in 2020 when Pierre, Pierre passed away. Uh, but you know, it's like you know we're close because if you don't see each other for 10 years and you see them, it's like I seen you yesterday. Yeah. You know, we. That's the type of group that he built. That's the type of of people that we are. Um, you know, to, to mentorship of our parents too. Mom and dad were phenomenal people, my parents, but you know, Pierre would become our second father, if you want to put it this way, and uh, he did a great job. I've heard, this will be the last one. I've heard a lot about Pierre in a management role, but I haven't heard as much about what he was like as a agent, and you've told me a little bit, but I've heard a lot about his attention to detail and mm -hmm. giving people a competitive edge down to the littlest of details. Can you think of an example of this and how he represented you as a agent? Yeah. <laughs> um, 
every summer, we talk about family, right? So the wife, my wife, Mona, I'm still married to, which I adore, um, we had a meeting every summer with him. And he called it the electric chair. <laughs> <laughs> that was no fun. <laughs> it doesn't sound Ooh. No, it was no fun because he was looking at, you know, where are we financially? Where did we spend our money? And it was like that meeting every year that we went to, it was like even the wives got nervous, <laughs> but it was to help us, to make it understand that, hey, you know, to the wife or even to me, myself, you guys are spending a little too much over here. <laughs> you know, you've got days after you're done from your hockey career, who knows where you're going to be, but you need to save money. And I wasn't very good at it at the time. <laughs> um, and I went like this, I said, you better talk to her. <laughs> he goes, oh no. He says, I know what you do and what you, where you spend your money. He said, you gotta really come down to, you know, to start thinking about this. You know, next year when we sit down and do this again, I want you to be at this number. And uh, they li I listened to him. And that's where I'm at, where I'm at today because I would have kept the same road I was on, be a little different. But uh, yeah, he mentored us at everything, at everything. Um, we've talked a lot about, or we've heard a lot about how um, he has you know, made the teams feel like they were families. Do you look at people in peers' positions now and see like, you know, if you were a little less business focused and a little more player focused, you'd probably be at a higher level. Do you think the way he was doing it, where it was putting the player before hockey, is the right way to do it. Well, he did it that way, okay. and, and I think, and I think it's coming to that way again okay. with, yeah. with organization. You know, not that they they don't think that way, uh, but it, he was he was unique. You know, I mean, he cared about the families. You know, that was you know, and that's a big important thing, and I think today. You know, it's kind of gone that direction everywhere. Um, you know, players that make it to the NHL, there's a reason for it. They worked hard. They they they, they want to win, and you know, but you know, you put them in a position to succeed, and that's what he did. He put all his his guys in position to succeed and give them confidence. And the biggest part of what he'd done in Colorado when he won those two cups is when he was getting the right piece at the right time to kind of finalize this puzzle. And I've been fortunate to be with a great organization now for well, 37 years with Black Hawks. And um, for us, you know, in 2010, 13, 15, it's a bit what they did. They just kind of built a team. And then when it was time to get the big piece to get us over the hump to win the cup, well, we did. Marion Osa was the guy for us. Mm -hmm. Patrick Waugh was the guy for the Avalanche. And you know, it's a risky, it's risky to make trades when you trade young players. You know, it doesn't matter who you get. And uh, he was a risk taker in a good way. And, and when he took a risk, he knew what he had coming. You know, that's, how can I say, he kind of, he had the balance to able to, to deal with that. And that's, that's why he was a very, very sharp man. Kyle Davidson seems like a breath of fresh air. Do you see any similarities in... Or Kyle Davidson? Yeah, he seems like a breath of fresh air. I feel like the organization's moving a really different A hundred percent. He's, yeah, I, I know I've known Kyle now a few years. Um, you know, he's been with us, I think, 11, 12 years now, but I've got to really know him the last few years more. Um, he just had a baby girl. Um, oh, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I see how the organization has, has really done a great job with our young players and, and the things are happening right now with our, our youth group is it's incredible and it's a young GM and uh, you know, they, I like what he's done so far you know I think he's uh, they're committed to get to the big dance again and uh, they're on the right track they, we have the right guy he's and the right coach too I think Luke Richardson's a awesome. wonderful person